Our meteorologist Riley O'Connor, he joins us live from the Vista House in the Gorge with more. Look how windy oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, that's right. I've been out here with the thrill seekers all afternoon facing these winds. And as Chris had said, we've been getting gusts to about 66 miles per hour. And I'll tell you what, standing up here on these stairs, I could definitely feel it. This is my first time up here, and it's a thrill, that's for sure. It's been bringing lots of people from around the state. Now, I was at a fire earlier today, and we got video. Uh, this was taken today. Firefighters from District 14 and Gresham fought this grass fire near Benson Lake. Now, this is near Multnomah Falls. I was told from authorities that a tree branch snapped, hit the power line, causing a spark to ignite uh, these flames. And good news there that they did get this taken care of. And, of course, all this wind brings the thrill seekers out. Many people traveling hundreds of miles just to get uh, the true Vista House experience and by that I'm talking about the view of course but the power of these winds winds have been gusting over 60 miles per hour this morning into the afternoon and we still have that wind advisory through the evening hours and we'll keep you on top of that one today but uh, like I mentioned yeah people have been out here really enjoying uh, the the winds and getting a sneak peek of what mother nature can really do I don't think I've ever been in wind this strong before and I was starting up the stairs and it, and it just pushed me toward the railing and yeah I was surprised how, how windy it was. And like I mentioned yeah many people have been out here really experiencing the winds a lot of people having fun with it. It's a nice sunny day but I'll tell you what these winds can really get you tired. One thing I did realize too if you face the wind your mouth really gets dry so I'm gonna need lots of water after this. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Riley. Well, try and enjoy the views, but also uh, stay safe up there, too. And like a lot of the firefighters that